to Trading Lounge and the European Indices for the 21st of January. Today we'll look at the DAX, the FTSE and also the stock uh, 50 as well. So, um, but I'll just go through them quite quickly. Um, however, with the DAX here, I've got a very conservative count of having a top in place here. It's probably not the case, but um, as I mentioned before, I like to... Um, look at the conservative count and work from the bottom up. We can have a look from the top down a little bit later, um, but just working up. So um, we've been looking at this here as a ABC correction here and then looking for a move up there. Now, obviously, it would be really nice to be on top of the 14,000 uh, as support, um, but we just need to be a bit mindful. And also to this particular pattern here where we've got the arrival at 14,000 there uh, can certainly look like a classic trading levels pattern on the long side so the arrival the reaction here in three waves and then five waves up here and then an abc so if this is the 14,000 across here then we need to migrate from being resistance to support over here so currently if we looked at that picture which will in a minute but um, we've had the arrival the reaction here and we're sort of in here if that's the 14,000 so we're about here and we're looking for five waves up here so just on that pattern alone here whoopsie daisy um, that come back here yeah, that's okay so <clears throat> the arrival the reaction in three and we're looking for five waves to the upside here once we've got those five waves then we can come down so the arrival the reaction in and um, three waves and then five waves to the upside normally staying within group one here 100 200 and 300 but it can move above um, and then fold back down in that in that way and then push up from that point. So we just gotta be careful of this pattern. Um, obviously there's a variation on this where it doesn't need to come back down here, it can just come back and sit on it and then move off. So we'll be um, mindful um, of that as well. But um, look, yeah, just being very conservative here um, with this particular count and um, yeah, so um, just on the hourly chart here, <clears throat> we talked about being getting, well, a couple of things here. We've got the little, this is a bit uh, not so conservative count, a bit a, a large count, but we're looking at it as wave one and two here. But um, looking at this as wave one and two here, and then looking from that high to that low here, um, well, there's a couple of things we need to look at. Let's go to the bigger picture first. Just do all the right things to start with. So um, this area here is the 50-60% retracement level, the 61.8%. So it was hauntingly accurate for a change. Um, <clears throat> so it's really so from that high to that low here, it's come already come up to the 61.8% and rejected it. So then we were looking yesterday at this second level here. So from that high to that low, coming back up to there, which takes us into the 13,900. So it shouldn't, if it was going to be bearish, it would have failed from that point here and moved lower from that point. So we could reasonably safely say that, and also too, this is all sitting on 13.9. So we could sort of reasonably safely say that um, if that became the support, then we could move in on the long side there. And there's a couple of opportunities in here. So we can also look at the classic trading level pattern here as coming up as an ABC coming back here. So we could have moved in on that one. I'm just hindsight, hindsighting here, okay? Because <clears throat> there's always something to learn in the old learning loop. And then we've had this move up here, creating another high. So all these highs can be, be bought as well. Um, but also too, this would be the second high in here. So that could also be bought here. So all of these are really correct buying opportunities in here because what you're basically doing is buying new highs after it's been tested, uh, after you've got this corrective pattern here. So after this, after an ABC pattern, if that top gets taken out here, that means that that top's going to be taken out because that would make that corrective at that point. So there's a lot of many roads to Rome. Um, so hopefully that you've moved in on that. Now, of course, there will be reactions up here, but at the same time, we feel that the market will just continue to move up. But of course, we'll end up with the same sort 
of thing occurring here. That's just the outside shell of that, of course. But um, yeah, we can look to go long there again here because we should be taking out this high here. So that was, that's going to leave us up at 14.3 here at, at minimum or between 2 and 3 here. And if we get support on... on if for whatever reasons if we get support on top of 300 with the classic trading levels pattern then we're going to be heading up to five at that point so it's just one step at a time one level at a time uh yeah and also too i'll just have to bring the stock 50 up here just for a moment this is just a 15 minute chart so we've had that big move up here i think i've got the right count here it's a little bit sort of dodgy but um the one and two and three and four and then the one and all the way, I won't count that, but all the way up to five and then one and two here with a sharp move. And then looking at this is one and two in here and three here and A and B and a C for four and up for five. So one and two here. That's why I had the one and the two on the DAX there. So in this case here, we should also be pushing up higher as well. Um, just continue to push up here. I won't call the trade on here, but you can just go long. And also the FTSE as well. <clears throat> I think I better go back one step just in case. So, um, yeah, we've been looking up a bit, bit same as the stock 50 really. Um, but also looking at this here as wave one and two here and then up for wave three and back for wave four here, but it may be one and two and one and two here. Um, but uh, I can count that there uh, as I did yesterday, as a corrective move down, as wave A here and a B here, and then one and two here, and then one and two and three and four and five for the third wave, fourth wave, and then the fifth wave down uh, to here. So we really wanted to push up at this point. Um, once again, uh, we could go long at this point, but uh, we could also bring that down to that high here now. So getting support there would be. Um, would be important but all of this could be corrective here and we can just drop down from this point that's the risk okay um, <clears throat> we don't have any evidence of a move up it's just based on the DAX and the FTSE and the S&P 500 and so on that we should be moving up but um, uh, just saying okay um, <clears throat> but the 6,000 uh, 700 here we can also see too that it's a real line in the sand here so the more support that it gets here I mean it, it it was support and then it became the resistance here and then it's come back up and checked it again here so it could fail but if it does get support this this time around that means that it's finished to the downside at that point so that's healthy so we'll be able to move in we really want to move in on the 67 and then we want to build in on the on the eight here as well i mean we could another classic trading levels pattern here but we could be able to get a better point than that but just to build in at this point um what we also need to be mindful of on the way up here i'm going to take it from this high here if that's okay and i'm going to take it from that low rather than that spike because even here I can count one and two and three and four and five here. So um, it's probably not the done thing. I'm just using a bit of uh, wisdom. So um, this area here is going to be the problem area. <clears throat> this is where the resistance is going to be. Um, but we'd expect that at six, eight anyway. So we're prepared for that. So we'll see, you know, we'll see we'll see a corrective pattern um, consolidation pattern play out there but it will be a continuation pattern I believe based on what I can see in other markets okay I think that's it I just really wanted to keep it uh, all pretty simple so thanks for tuning in much appreciated Jeez.